if you like to spend an awful lot of time on the water, sometimes the sun just gets a little overpowering, it gets too hot and uncomfortable, and of course it can be damaging to the skin. So if you have an open boat with an open cockpit and you're looking for some shade, there is a solution. And we're gonna cover that today on my boat. We're gonna take this kit from SureShade and we're gonna install it on this Edgewater center console. The project had started earlier when I looked at the T-top in detail. Sure shades can be installed under or on top of a T-top. With our hosts of obstructions under, our only option was on top. I took pictures of the T-top and added measurements to the images and emailed them to SureShade. They sent us back a complete kit customized for this application. In short order, I unpacked the components and passed them up to Steve so we could get to work. In the kit is a wooden template utilized to provide the correct spacing between the stationary tubes. After messing about with the template on and off of the curved top, it was time for plan B, assembly. First we installed the outer crossbar. The fittings simply insert into the tubes and are secured with Allen panhead machine screws. Next up is the mid crossbar that lies over the extending tube and is fastened with machine screws as well. After unfurling the canvas, the roller shaft with roller clamp is inserted into the canvas roller and secured with two machine screws. On the starboard end of the roller, the hand lever and clamp are installed in the same manner. After removing one half of each clamp, Stephen and I lift the canvas and roller and set it in place on the end of the stationary tubes of the system, then clamped each side in place. Next we removed the outer crossbar and slipped it through the sleeve in this umbrella and reinserted it in the tubes and secured them. With that accomplished, we were able to retract the sure shade in order to secure the system to the T-top. After checking measurements and positioning multiple times, the locations for the aft mounts were marked. Once the sure shade assembly was cleared out of the way, a pilot hole was drilled, then the finish hole size was drilled. With one bolt inserted in the aft port mount, the process was repeated for the starboard mount. Normally you would install the telescopic cylinders using the measuring template provided by the company, but you noticed earlier that the piece of wood wouldn't follow the curve of the hard top here. So what we've elected to do is do the assembly first so that everything's squared up, we know it's working, and work one by one with the mounts here on the roof. Again, following multiple measurements, the assembly was set in its final position and the forward mount locations were marked. At this stage, the remaining holes were drilled in the aft mounts, then all of the holes in the forward set. And remember to run the final bit in reverse first to avoid cracking the gel. With holes done, the bolts were inserted. To ensure water would not get into the top's core, every mount was bedded with 3M4200. On the underside, backing plates were slid over each set of bolts and the lock nuts were hand tightened. A driver was then used to run the nuts up the extra long bolts that came in the kit that would be cut off later. After applying 4200, the nuts on all four mounts were tightened down. After setting the sure shade back in place, the clamps were secured over the stationary tube and the machine screws inserted and tightened to lock the sure shade in place. Well, that's it, our My Boat project is done. Basically, it just took an afternoon. It is a very straightforward install. SureShade has done an excellent job of engineering this, so even a DIY weekend warrior can install the shade. And it's been quite sunny all afternoon, so we're certainly gonna enjoy having it